These people traumatized my child. They brought me to the hospital, but I did not want to go in. I have no reason to go to the hospital right now. I want to go home. Tyler has not been the same person since that day. She's on all types of medication. She's depressed, like she has no emotion. When I see a police officer, I shut down. I hide, I start crying. I should not be chained if I was just in an accident. I am suffering from all different kinds of mental disorders, PTSD, psychosis, anxiety, severe depression, uh, mood disorder. I have PTSD, okay, what's ADHD, what's that? all different kind of She stays with me because she can't keep a job. She can barely fill out an application. She deals with memory loss. It is very hard to get up in the morning. My favorite activity is laying back down. You're fine. Are you gonna be cool if you stand up? Okay. The charges may have been dropped against my daughter, but the trauma is gonna be with her forever. She hasn't forgot what happened to her. Tyler, you were on a winding road in the dark and you ran off the road and kind of Correct. went down six feet and hit a tree, and it was a serious accident. You, did your airbags deploy? You hit hard. Pretty hard. So my immediate reaction was to get out of the car, to immediately crawl out, crawl out and lay onto the ground. Well, I would think you would be disoriented. Anyone would at that point. How did the police get there? How they got there was from the top of the hill where I could kind of see the lights start flashing. And when that happened, you thought this is a good thing, right? Yes, I thought that this would be the change of, okay, I can be safe. I can be able to get home and get to the hospital and get to where someone could be able to assess the situation for what it really was. All right, and when they first got there, what happened? When they first got there, I had asked if they needed my ID, if there was something that, that they needed from me. Um, to be able to take on this situation. Um, they were quiet and they were speaking with each other. They were not speaking with me. I was taken to IMSA and I was assessed and uh, they had took my uh, blood sugar and realized that my, the glucose was low, that I needed to get my sugar back up. But I realized that they didn't realize that I was also So sorry. That I needed to walk back down the hill. And this is something that I talked with them about and to get back to the vehicle. And we walked back down to the vehicle and um, I had sat in the car and I uh, started to look for my phone. I started to look for my car keys because I felt nervous. I wanted to call family and somebody that could talk with me and get me to safety. Um, I was then pulled out of the vehicle from my left side and um, trampled to the ground and put in handcuffs and shackles. And you say you couldn't really figure out what the police were doing because you were disoriented and panicking at the time, right? That is correct. That is correct. Talisha, you say that, that Tyler's prone to this. And, of course, when you have a trauma like this, it's going to bring out anxiety, panic, things of this nature. Um, what did you think when you found out that she had actually been handcuffed, tased, and put in a police car? I'm mad, furious. That's my child. You know, that's my daughter. And... Um, I just couldn't imagine, you know, she's out there in the woods. We're from Tulsa, Oklahoma, but she had moved to Greenwood, Arkansas with a friend. And me and my family told her that wouldn't be a good place for her to be. It's not a uh, place for black folks. Uh -huh. And, um, but she, she was there with a friend. And um, like I said, she went around that curve late at night hit a tree, and I can only imagine how scary that would be. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.